in a side way you didn't notice for the longest time, still made with old cobblestone. A little shop invites you to stay for a while and have a cuddle. The sign says, The Cuddly Ant Eater. That's a strange name. But you were here once before, and it changed your life. Your dreams have become lighter. You sleep much more relaxed. You feel a little bit awkward going to cuddle therapy, and you look around to make sure nobody you know is around when you enter. It appears you're alone with two birds sitting on a balustrade. The sound coming from the main road nearby seems pleasantly distant. You enter the shop. Hi, there you are. Come on in. Let me hug you. You are the seven o'clock appointment, yes? Let me take your coat. Do you want something to drink? Or to use the restroom? Hmm. All right. Please have a seat. I'll be with you in a second, and then we'll have a quick check-in. You already know from the last time, yes. You're already a pro. <laughs> I always repeat this part so I can make sure whatever happens each time is exactly what you want. Some people are a bit nervous in the beginning, and when they relax, they might answer differently. Also, everybody is free to change from day to day, from week to week. <laughs> so, I invite you to answer however you feel. It can be the opposite of what you answered last time. Is that all right with you? Okay. I wonder how much touch you want today. On a scale from 1 to 10, ranging from 1, sitting next to each other talking, which is totally fine if that's how you feel today, to 10, which is like, why are we still talking? I want as much touch as soon as possible. Okay. All right, that's very helpful for me. And you know that number can always change throughout your session whenever you feel like it. You just tell me, okay? Do you have any injuries? Any place you're ticklish or something I should know about? Okay, you almost made it. I wonder on the spectrum of holding someone and being held, where do you feel you are today? Do you want me to hold you more? Or do you want to hold me? Or should we just mix it up? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is a very important one. You can make requests at any time. If you're somehow uncomfortable, like a cushion is scratchy or your leg falls asleep, please tell me. And let me tell you, I'll do the same. So you never have to be afraid that I'm uncomfortable because I'll always tell you. Last item. When it comes to cuddling, some people don't enjoy spontaneous touch. Some feel more comfortable when the hand position is fixed or they want to be held without hands touching them at all. Yes, we also have a variety of plushy gloves, bare ones, for example. So how do you feel today? Are you open for spontaneous touch? Great. All right, let's have another hug. And let's go back. You're up for the couches? Are you up for the couches? Or do you feel more like the pillow room? All right. How about we start with a classic? I'm sitting back and you lean into me. It's all right. Give me your weight. <sighs> that feels good. I always like to start with a bit of guided breathing. Okay, breathe in deeply. And out. In. And 
and out. You can rest your head. Yeah, check in with your legs. Experiment. What works for you? In. And out. Try to feel your body and see if there's still some tension. Try to relax. Do you feel my breathing? Let's try to synchronize. Oh, you slept better? I'm so glad to hear that. That family thing was a horrible situation, huh? How do I know? Didn't you say? Must have been a lucky guess then. It's a recurring theme. It's sometimes really hard to clean some of these dreams up. Whenever you feel like changing position, just say switch. Sure, you can touch my arms. Let me wrap them around you like this. You know, if you ever see an anteater in your dreams, defending you, you know, she's fighting really hard. I mean, she's giving her best, you know? <laughs> Just a silly story for relaxation. To hold the line in your family dream, I felt like the entire cast of House of Flying Daggers. Why would you dream something like that? Huh? Oh, position change. Let me tell you a story. Some people believe in changelings, creatures connected to dreams, and this belief you know, is how they survive. Yes, changelings survive by humans believing in them. The more someone believes, the more powerful they become. They live in the dreamscape, which is all connected, and they try to make sure it's a nice place. But that's a lot of work, you know. You wouldn't believe half the... What do they look like? like anything, really. Some look like a character from a fairy tale, you know. Even a dragon. They can look like furniture. It sometimes depends on the dream. And the changelings can change, too. Some look like animals or animal-like. Just my opinion, but the animal ones are the best. Why? It's just how things are. <laughs> okay, next position. How about I lay down on my stomach and you can rest on my back? You can position yourself sideways and rest your head on my side. Or you can use me for a bed. <laughs> Any time during the session, I want you to say everything that comes to your mind. Like, oh, my legs just relaxed. Or, I have tingling in my hand that I thought would go away, but it doesn't. You're only here on your second time. I have to learn a lot about you. And, although I can do a lot, I'm not a telepath. So, you have to tell me.
I feel so connected to you when we breathe together. Just a quick heads up. When our session is over, we will go outside. Sit down. I'll offer you another beverage. And you can use the restroom if you want. Oh, and we have something new. A keychain for regulars, if you want it. <laughs> it's a little anteater. <laughs>